how many of you want to go rock climbing with me this weekend? While some I'm sure would be willing to go, most of you are thinking right now, over my dead body. But if you've never climbed before, that reaction, it's understandable because you're not prepared for the journey. Mount Everest is 29,000 feet tall. That's the cruising altitude of airplanes. At the top, climbers move slower than a crawling baby, and that's with supplemental oxygen. Once above 26,000 feet, you enter the death zone, and your body no longer metabolizes food. Temperatures can reach 76 degrees below zero. Winds can reach 200 miles an hour. It takes two months to prepare for the final climb. Your odds of dying on Everest are worse than one in 10. Do you know who is the first to summit Mount Everest? Some of you might recall the name Sir Edmund Hillary. This was a bit of a trick question because Everest was jointly summited with another individual. Unfortunately, few remember his name. Known as Sherpa Tenzing, Tenzing Norgay had made six unsuccessful attempts to reach the top. But in 1953, he served as a lead Sherpa on an expedition that required a team of 400 people to put two men on the top of the world. On 29 May 1953, Norgay and Hillary became the first to summit Mount Everest. Tenzing went on to found and lead the Himalayan Mountaineering Institute, which has trained many other climbers, of which 35 have summited Everest. His job? was to help the expedition get to the top, and because of his experience, Hillary wanted him on the summit team. We all need to be like Sherpa Tenzing. Our job is not to take credit for the work, but to ensure our goals are accomplished. For ADF East, we were embarking on a journey of the greatest changes to our site since our inception, and I needed to prepare us for the way ahead. This evolved into our slogan of, We See the Future, and a campaign that challenged the workforce to be like Sherpa Tenzing in his summit of Mount Everest. On the day of the kickoff, we handed out lanyards, and posters, banners, and stickers were placed around the site at each major entrance and corridor. The forum was a critical event to clearly communicate the changes ahead and to get my employees to join me in the journey. Cynic said, and start with why. Leadership requires two things, a vision for the world that does not yet exist and the ability to communicate it. Your challenge, what are you doing to creatively motivate your employees to join you on your journey? Remember, little things matter.